do a lot of investments every single month into existing websites. And for the known, sorry, you can you can. Actually, I was going to say what he also uh, is really good at. Um, obviously, I'm a business partner. So what what we like to try to do is find areas that we can contribute more. So we would probably not get involved in a business where. If we're coming on board and we're not really going to add any value from like a strategy point of view or something, then there's no interest for us. The, the person just needs to, we, we'll help that person upskill themselves, lift them up to, you know, build their business. That's kind of the approach we, we take. If we can add value to it, then we get involved. Oh, oh, as long as the numbers are correct and, you know, the positive ranking state or at least a neutral ranking state, then, yeah, we get involved. Okay. And how do you check the numbers? They usually go, or I believe that you don't deal with the contracts that much. You usually have a different style, both of you, because you you say that contracts are to be broken and you actually try to avoid all these unnecessary costs in terms of time and money and you actually see something in people when you do business. How do you decide whether someone is trustworthy or man of word or not? A new person came to me with an existing website and they wanted me not to buy all of the website, but to partner up with them. Mm -hmm. I've got to like that person. I've got to be able to make certain that moving forward long-term that I feel I can trust them. So if I don't know that person, I simply will not buy only 50% of the website. I'm either going to buy it all or nothing. <laughs> and if, if I'm not certain with regards to who they are, to start with, I will try to help, like what Carl said, help to elevate them, mm. even allow them to use certain team members and see how they react with my team members. 